Here in the UK, fizzy drinks should be heavily taxed. Junk food ads on TV should only be shown after young children have gone to sleep. That's according to an unprecedented call for action by British doctors. The Academy of Medical Royal Colleges says British waistlines are causing a health crisis and that current measures, well, that they're failing. Here's our health and science reporter, James Gallagher. We live in one of the fattest countries in the world. Almost one in every four of us is obese. And according to the bodies which represent nearly 200,000 doctors in the UK, our waistlines are already a national crisis. The 21 medical organisations are putting fizzy drinks at the heart of their attack on the way we consume junk food. They say pop should not be part of our daily diet and condemn a culture which makes it acceptable to slurp a litre of it at the cinema. Sugary drinks. We don't need them to survive. They're just water and sugar and calories. Let's put a tax on those to try and encourage people to drink more healthy drinks. The doctors are calling for the price of fizzy drinks to go up by at least 20%. They also want to see adverts for foods high in fat, sugar or salt banished from daytime television and relegated to after the 9 o'clock watershed. The report says action, as tough as that used to curb smoking, may be necessary to help the nation beat the bulge. It suggests fast food outlets near schools and leisure centres should be forced to close and extra money should be made available for weight loss surgery. However, these recommendations seem unlikely to be adopted anytime soon. The government says its focus is on working with the food industry to get companies to voluntarily reduce the calorie content of their food. One of the reasons uh, that this is you know, very important is look at the statistics at the moment. One in three children, by the time they leave primary school, are either overweight or obese. And this situation is getting worse. It's having uh, increasing uh, impact upon healthcare resources. We know that the NHS has to spend £6 billion per year treating obesity and obesity related diseases. And this is actually uh, this is the unison of every, uh, representing essentially every single doctor in the UK who feel that now it's time for action and current uh, what the current uh, situation is that whatever we're doing isn't working the obesity situation is getting worse and the reason it isn't working is we're not addressing the root cause of obesity and that is the food environment now in reference to fizzy drinks in particular um, there are certain drinks out there that have up to nine teaspoons of sugar in them and we know that sugar in the liquid form in particular is is not only toxic to the body but increases the risk of diabetes it drives appetite um, and we know that a 20% from, from modelling from fiscal and health modelling tells us that a 20% tax would reduce consumption um, and that money could be used uh, to subsidise healthy foods, for example, the revenue raised from that. So I think it's very important that people realise that these sort of drinks and drinking them is not acceptable. They should actually be treated in the same way as cigarettes.